Yesterday I went to bed super early, like at 6 o'clock, because I was flossing my teeth after dinner and a part of my fill-in right here, you can see, just chipped off. And I was really upset about that and I decided I'm not eating anymore for the rest of the night. Oh, I already had dinner, but still, I wasn't even going to have a snack afterwards and I was just upset because that lasted for like a year. I am so tired of shoddy dental work. Work that lasts for a few months or maybe a year, um, mostly less than that. And I just, I'm so frustrated with a dentistry, just in general. Um, so this tooth right here is normally like a little triangle. I was just born with like pointy teeth right there, just like one pointy tooth. And they um, did like a fill-in, it's not really a fill-in because there was never a cavity, but this kind of like work where they made it look square. And <clears throat> it's come off twice already. This is like the um, third time it's coming off, and I think it's ridiculous. I want them to just redo the whole thing, but I'm not going back to that dentist at all. Messing up twice on my teeth is just enough where, like, the work doesn't last, and I'm still paying hundreds of dollars out of pocket for this work. Um, I sent in an email to a dentist that's near me and asked if I could get an appointment as soon as possible because I don't want to eat um, with a tooth that's not really exposed because my tooth is still encapsulated in whatever this hard composite is or the filling um, but I don't want to eat and get like mess in there uh, so I'm gonna wait until I go to the dentist to eat I'm starving right now it's like 5 in the morning I woke up because I went to bed early so I woke up early too and I'm just thinking about my day and I have a workout at 7 and then I'm gonna definitely see what dentist will take me and get this repaired hopefully I can find someone who can do a job that won't damage anything else I finished my workout and immediately call the dentist they can squeeze me in for 3 o'clock against two patients a phrase I didn't really understand, but they said that meant that there are two other patients that are coming in at a similar time and that they're not 100% certain they can get me in at 3 o'clock. It could be as late as 3.45, which I'm fine with. They can get me in today. Yay! I really want to get this fixed. Um, they're not sure how much it's going to cost between 216 to 4 something. Yay! Good to pay anywhere from a quarter to half a grand have this work done again and um, the dentist on the phone well he's not a dentist he's like a dent one of those helpers a dental helper on the phone so that it's not uncommon for this to happen that he hears it all the time that people get this kind of work done and then it falls off why did my dentist in the first place the one who first did it why did he do it knowing that it was unlikely to last and that it would put me on a track or schedule whatever have you of constantly having to get it done that upsets me I don't have money just to throw around and I didn't even want it in the first place now I have to maintain it so I don't look crazy look at this let's face honestly it doesn't look horrible but it looks bad and it'll only get worse if I don't get take if I don't get it taken care of um, yeah that's where I am right now and I'm so hungry Three o'clock. Three o'clock is a long ways from now. You see what tooth is doing to me? It's ruining my speech. <laughs> Three o'clock. <laughs> Three o'clock is a long ways away, and I am so hungry. I think I'm gonna eat something and then try to try to keep my mouth clean afterwards. Wish me luck. I showed my roommate my tooth, and he thinks I'm overreacting. He's like, "You should call your old dentist because it'll probably be discounted because they worked on your tooth and messed up." I called my old dentist to see how much it would cost and it's around half the price of what the new dentist is charging. So the new dentist is charging two something to four something and my old dentist says that he can get it done for around 200 um, but they can only take me on Monday. 
<laughs> Monday at 8 a.m. I was so panicked and I wanted to get seen today. And having to wait till Monday uh, is a little frustrating. Like I can feel my gums getting in between the little space in my tooth. And I can feel that my speech is slurring a little bit. Uh, so I'm just going to spend today trying to calm down. I'm going to go to my old dentist. I, mean, I don't want to, but it's going to be discounted. And hopefully it doesn't get messed up again. The new dentist could do a good job or they could mess it up and it could just be a failed experience for, you know, close to $500. Um, anyway, wish me luck uh, on my Monday experience. I'm going to be making some food because there's no way I'm going to be fasting until Monday. I uh, may make a, a smoothie this morning after my workout, feeling like it's a smoothie kind of time. Uh, but I'm definitely going to eat it outside so I can be with the birds and nature. I just finished recording a smoothie video and I am ready for some heavy food now. <laughs> it just took me so long to get set up and my stomach started growling and it was like, give me food now. Usually I'm good with just like raw food early in the morning and if I continue consistently throughout the day, but if I get like a big lull, like I did just now where I worked out and then I got set up to record the smoothie video, then I get hungry. And my stomach's like, well now you don't get a smoothie. Now you get heavy foods. But I'm gonna finish this. This is absolutely delicious. It's so good. It's mostly avocado and it's got some coconut milk. Mm, coconut, that is my thing. I have so many avocados that I'm just going to be making avocado smoothies every single day. Me and my roommate are here to see the cure for wellness. It starts in a few minutes and they're just opening up the doors. We made it in and we got some pretty good seats. So did you watch the trailer? Yeah, I've seen the trailer. Yeah, I only saw a snippet of the trailer. I didn't watch the whole thing because the second I decided, yeah, I want to watch it, I just turned it off so I wouldn't get any spoilers. I've been waiting for this movie, so I'm eager to see I can't hear you. what it's about. I'm outside taking a walk because <laughs> it is way too hot in the theater right now. I don't know if it's because I came really fast <laughs> going there and now my body's just sweating or because it actually is hot in there but at some point during the film I'm gonna figure out what the temperature really is in that theater and also my roommate doesn't really like being on camera so <laughs> I had to just like step out if I was gonna record anything today I spent a lot of time um, just trying to upload the footage from the smoothie video and uploading footage from the telemarketer video uh, I don't really know how well that went because I need to do subtitles and immediately my friends who um, are hard of hearing said that they wish there were subtitles and I was like, oh man, I have to sit here and transcribe it. But it's the only way that I can be inclusive and let every single person <laughs> hear the video. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing that probably either later on tonight or tomorrow. Uh, right now I just want to take a lap. And cool down. I may even go to Publix for a second and grab some snacks. <laughs> These Think Thins are really good. I love the brownie flavor and I also love the Oreo cookie. That looks really, really good. Now all I need is a nice spot to enjoy these nom noms. There's not exactly seating inside the grocery store. This food is pretty decent, but. <laughs> It is full of cheese, and I am lactose intolerant, so I may be lighting that theater up. <laughs> Look how cute this little thing is. Mmm. At least I don't have to, like, go get anything from the theater. The movie is about to start. And we're excited. We just got out of the movie and we are validating our pass. Look at that. Woo! -hoo! So, I don't want to spoil the movie, but first three minutes I started crying. That's what you should be prepared for. Alright. I'm finally home. 
I'm ready to decompress and talk a little bit more about the movie, The Cure for Wellness. That movie was amazing. It was well written. The character development was good. Uh, I enjoy the graphics, and I don't often enjoy the graphics in uh, movies. I, I could tell where some scenes were um, computer generated, but it didn't bother me. They weren't poorly done. Um, I also enjoyed the plot. I enjoyed the editing, and yeah, overall, I got a really good vibe from the movie. It took me on twists and turns. My emotions were all over the place. Yes, I could predict some scenes, but it wasn't offensively predictable. And I would recommend this movie for anyone who wants to see it. I did cry in the first few minutes, but it's because there was something uh, that happens that just hit a little too close to home for me. Um, but if you go see it, you'll probably figure out um, what it is. Let me know what you think of it, and if you felt any differently than I did. It's really late right now, so I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Bye!